In Murrindindi Shire, it's business as unusual. And right now, our local businesses need you. Every dollar you spend locally helps business owners support their family, other businesses and you. Shop local, shop Dindi. Visit dindidirectory.com.au. Welcome to Dindi Live, presented by Murrindindi Shire Council. Simulcast on UGFM in your local area. Hi everybody, it's me again, Lee Dunscombe. And um, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Dindy Live. This week, we'll be hearing from our very own Adam Dennis. And after that, we'll be having a chat with artist and sculptor Matt Williams. So please stay with us and enjoy the show. Dindy Live would like to introduce musician Adam Dennis. Hi, and welcome to another Dindy Live. I'm Adam Dennis, and this is my first song. Trouble haunts our home once again Sudden change of course takes us over While I'm wondering what to say when I falter, she walks away and I'm just left here. No anodyne, all this pain is mine. While a sap wind blows. Dusty and malign Shows the ravages of time Darkness up ahead has got me blind All the sunlight is behind me and it's fading no anodyne all this pain is mine while the sap wind blows Lose everything I know. What little confidence we keep. My only truth you find in sleep. Everything I know, but I'll still be king while I still have my songs to sing. This world will fall only when I lose them all. ago now I was looking for the final song of an album that I was recording and I just didn't have quite that closer so I went in the shower and uh, listened to the white noise and enjoyed the warmth and came up with this interesting one which is called Fiddler's Green A golden glow A passing dream she is tattooed by the things she's done and seen 
Across the bridge, the fiddler's green, and in the centre of the square, the lover's tree. He has taken what they had and gone away. He has taken what they had and he has strayed. Now in her heart, a hole exists. She is bruised and battered, healing up the scars upon her wrist. And I'll admire her not much longer from afar. The day will soon be here. We'll take a ride in my electric car. He has taken what they had and gone away. And he has opened up the door for me today. This guitar I got in 1976. My mum and dad didn't want me to play drums anymore for fairly understandable reasons. And so I decided that my next try would be playing guitar. I wasn't concerned with being up front in the band or anything like that. I just wanted to be a musician. And if I couldn't be a drummer, then a guitarist it was. There was a bit of an argument over money. And I think my father won that one. And he said, OK, mate, come on, we'll go and look at guitars. And so we went to the hmm, Ferndry Gully Music Shop, I think it was. And he said, which one do you want? I had no clue. I was 14. But I looked up at the racks and there were these beautiful guitars hanging there. And this one had that lovely honey colour to it. And it was a Fender. It was a Fender F35. I've written a lot of songs on this guitar since 1976. Here's one.
it's a mighty guitar. And um, I did get the chance to thank my father for buying me this guitar and my mum, of course. Hi, mum. Long time to play one instrument. I've got other instruments, of course, but this one holds a special place in my heart and in my hands. And I feel that it expresses things or allows me to express things that no other instrument would. It's got my sweat, my tears at times, um, and a lot of my soul in it. I might have other guitars, but this is my guitar. Maybe I belong to it in a way as well. In what seems like an appropriate song to be singing just now, or at least an appropriate sentiment, we have Better Days Ahead. Got a Friday kind of feeling Got a Saturday Sunday doesn't come soon Gonna do it until my time Got a Monday understanding Till Tuesday comes around When Friday morning takes me Searching for that perfect sound This is not what I'm feeling That's just not what I said This is not what I'm feeling I'm gonna stay with it until I October as I write this Come November I'll be gone In December you'll be singing all the old songs Cause life has to go on and on and on and on This is not what I'm This is not what I'm feeling I'm Gonna stay with it until I'm dead I'm Gonna stay with it Here now is a song that I've written especially for this program. It's called Titan. I don't know how I could fall for you. Several times I've shown I can. You won't come down from your point of view. And so will never. Somebody told me that you were frightened That's pretty rich for a former titan For all those years you were the golden boy 
leaving you as something else Misunderstood and missing all your joy But eager to declare yourself the king of kings You were a titan in a house is small and frightened Please go away and don't return We don't need to feel your pain Starting again It's the only To end your reign We tore you down When you revealed yourself Then we learned we're awful too We can change We can redeem ourselves Trace of you, the King of Kings, you were a Titan. We tore down your throne, now we're enlightened. Sometimes in the dark. We're still frightened But for you and your army It's the end It's the end Well, thanks to all of you for coming along tonight and listening to my performance. Don't forget, Dindy Live is streaming every Friday night at 6.30pm on the Murrindindi Shire Council Facebook page. See you later. If you like that, you'll love the Dindy Sessions, new songs from emerging artists across our Shire. Head over to the Murrindindi Youth Facebook page for more. Tomorrow, Sienna Taylor releases her new song, T. Here's a sneak peek. Hi, my name's Sienna, I'm 12 years old and I live in King Lake West. Met you in the middle of 16. Um, we were here in the A recording songs in the town hall and yeah, we came up with a bunch of ideas and I wanted to do the song about Tanisha, which is my best friend. She's sadly moved, so then I thought it would be a good idea to like write a song about her and then we started making lyrics and it turned out pretty well. Up next, sculptor Matt Williams from Rust Me. Hi, thanks for having me on Dindy Live. I'm Matt Williams, the sculptor here at Dindy Naturals. I came to this area about 15 years ago um, to work in the hydro here. I was working in Perth and we were doing um, big rewinds for what was then Southern Hydro and I hit them up for a job so I found myself here at Eildon. How did you start making sculptures? The sculpture all started because my partner started this Dindy Naturals business and I was working at the hydro. I'd been there a little bit too long, so I was looking for a bit of a bit of a change. I just started knocking things up for the shop and um, they went well. People were happy with them and bought them. So I thought, oh, maybe I could do this full time. So I took all my leave and um, I thought at the end of all my leave, I don't know if I want to go back to the power station or not, and I didn't. So yeah, it's grown there and I've developed new techniques and made a few new bits and pieces. Um, wire has always probably been my favourite thing. I started as an armature wine days years and years ago and so I've just swapped the copper wire for steel wire really. Um, the lady asked me one day, could I make a kookaburra? I said, yeah, I think so. So I started making kookaburras. I haven't stopped. I wish I could make enough of them. 
Tell us about your various sculptures. If I, if I just made all the same thing all the time, I'd let it all look the same. So I started getting into other things like this dragon. It's um, made of a car clutch. That's all car clutch. The body is a cut up uh, jetty pile. These are bike chains and the bike sockets off the rear wheels. That's a set of snow chains and that's quite a large bike all cut up. So it's all come together fairly well, very fearsome. What inspires you to make your sculptures? People ask me sometimes what I find inspires me, and inspiration is where you find it. I was showing sculptures at the Open Garden weekend, and I look up at the lady's um, shed, and she had a terracotta flying fox hanging on the shed. So I thought, oh, a flying fox. Haven't done one of them yet, so here's my take on a metal flying fox. What drew you to work and live in Murrindindi? Yeah, I came to Murrindindi for, especially for a job in the hydro power station here. But um, I was working in Perth, rewinding big generators, and um, I'd rewound two of the generators at Rubicon already. And I came over here on a, on a big job, and um, while I was here, I hit the company up for a, for a job myself. So I, I quit the job that I had in Perth and I moved to Murrindindi. And it's a funny thing, I went into the first job I had at Rubicon Power Station and there's one of the old generators that happened to rewind when I was in Perth. So yeah, I remember when that left the workshop, I thought, oh good, I'll never see this again. And now I spent the next 12 years looking after it. So that, that was what brought me here, but what's kept me here is the environment, especially the lake, the rivers, I've always had a bit of an attraction to the water. Does nature influence your work? I, I try to concentrate most of my work on native animals, it seems to be popular, so around Murrindindi there's a, there's a wealth of animals, you know, I've made these kookaburras, the wombat, there's plenty of wombats here, everyone would know. I make lyre birds, but there's none here in the shop. They've all been sold because they're so popular. So that, that's what I try to focus on, native animals. They're very popular, especially birds. Do you work mostly with recycled material? D Dindy Naturals, it tries to be a clean green company wherever it can. So I try to use recycled material wherever I can. This is recycled fencing wire. And this is a part of a roof that actually came from the um, Freemasons building in Alexandra. This was all pretty old, recycled, the, the, whole, the whole lot. It's, that's rebar from um, concrete reinforcing, there's bike chains, there's snow chains, and of course the clutch from the uh, tyre power came in that clutch in Alexandra. So I, I buy very little, if I could buy um, recycled welding wire I would, but I just can't go that far. But thanks everyone for listening to Dindy Live, it's been a pleasure to be here. I uh, hope someone comes in and has a look around at what else I've done in the shop. Thanks for everyone. Cheers. Thanks to Adam Dennis and Matt Williams, and thanks to you for listening and supporting Local. Tune in every week at 6.30pm on the Murrindindi Shire Facebook page for more. Dindy Live, bringing the arts to you. Ooh. Mm -hmm.